Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Harris, thank you for being here. You know, I think for the folks that may be watching this at home, they might be a little bit confused, and I'm trying to organize this in my mind as well. Um, the way the pr president is portrayed in your report and just how we feel about him, was he a well-meaning, forgetful man, as you said, or was he a man that was focused on history? Was he a man that maintained and retained these uh, top secret documents that should have been in, not in his home? And was he a man that wanted to prove he was worthy to be president and that his vision of Afghanistan was better than even President Barack Obama's and that his focus on history was most important to him? Do you know which it is? Congressman, to the extent you're quoting language from my report, I stand by the words in my report. So you stand by that he was, and let me quote you exactly, quote, a well-meaning but forgetful old man. I don't think those exact words appear in the report, Congressman, but to the extent that I uh, use words similar to that effect in my assessment of how a jury would perceive Mr. Biden and the evidence relating to him, including his testimony, I do stand by that assessment. So is it accurate to say that in your interview, President Biden retained and disclosed classified materials as a means to bolster his image as a presidential figure? And I'm asking you for yes or no's here because our time is so limited. I believe words to that effect are in my report, Congressman. So the answer is yes. Would you agree that President Biden's intent to showcase his legacy provides a motive for his actions concerning classified materials? Yes it or is, no? It is one of the motives uh, addressed in the report. Yep, to showcase his legacy. Is it accurate to quote your report that classified documents were found in, quote, badly damaged boxes in his garage near a collapsed dog crate a dog bed, a Zappos box, and an empty bucket. Is that correct? Those words do appear in the report. So that's correct. The answer is yes. Are these secure locations to store classified documents? They are not. Okay. So we got a former vice president who is established to have willfully, purposefully retained classified documents in order to highlight his political stature and show his stature as a presidential figure. We have a former vice president who stored classified documents in very unsecured places. We have a former vice president who will not suffer any consequences for all of these actions, all because we say, well, he's a well-meaning, forgetful old man. You know, if you were kind of a well-meaning, forgetful old man that was driving a car and you forgot what you were doing a little bit and you hit somebody and killed him, I believe you'd be responsible. The law must apply, you know this, to everyone. The standard behind the decision not to prosecute Joe Biden, especially in light of Special Counsel Jack Smith's decision to prosecute President Trump for similar conduct, gives the real appearance of two standards. Just again, so much part of this Department of Justice. Justice for thee, but not for me. Special Counsel Her, has any former president or vice president besides President Trump ever been criminally charged for knowingly retaining classified information after they left office, yes or no? No. Would you concur that Special Counsel Smith's decision to charge a former president for retaining and disclosing classified information was an extraordinary, unusual, and unprecedented decision? I will not comment on that matter. Well, I'm going to comment. The answer is yes. Special Counsel Her, these two reports are the culmination, in my mind, of the Department of Justice's two standards, two standards, and an example, again, of the Justice Department being weaponized against conservatives. You know, there's another piece to this, too, while I have just a few seconds. Um, we know that when his ghostwriter was speaking to him, he also did recordings and when he did those recordings, it was clear, in fact, I'll try to quote this here, it was a month, in 2017, a month after Biden left his VP, he was aware of top secret classified materials that were, quote, downstairs. Is that true? That is reflected in an audio recording, yes. It's reflected in an audio record, you know. So sometimes he may be sleepy, sometimes he may be forgetful, sometimes he may be cognitively impaired. There's no doubt about that. But man, when it came to his personal legacy, the way he wanted to be remembered, to be sure that he was a big deal, in plain English, in the future, he was willingly and knowingly breaking the law. And it's unfortunate that we have a Department of Justice that will treat 
one person one way and somebody else a different way. It's a sad day for America. Thank you, Mr. Hur. I yield back.